Hi there all. This is um, an update on how I um, attempted to make the fullerenes. I, um, my first attempt was in this glass container thing. It was a clock. A clock sat in here. This was perfect. And um, you can sort of see carbon around the outsides. So that actually if you scrape all that carbon off, that's not too bad. Um, imagine this bread was carbonized. I jammed that up into the top of it and held it there with two welding electrodes. And um, with the two graphite rods in each end of the welder, I had this almost in the vertical. Oh, actually, it was pretty high up. I had it suspended between two bricks and I came up through this bottom with the two electrodes and um, started arcing them. You can't do it for too long because it gets really hot. The um, carbons throw an arc like it does in the microwave with graphite. You get a massive plasma which superheats this really quickly so you don't really... I'm surprised it never broke. So it's um, pretty good this bit of glass from a cheap shop clock. And so and the carbon's there to collect the fumes which gather because it's really hard to scrape them off of this glass. Oh, well, they scrape off on my finger, actually. And um, stuck the purging hose also just up there like that and purged it with some... Balloon party helium. It wasn't full. It only had a little bit in there, so... You probably want a full container. Get the helium in there because the C60 has a helium center apparently. And then start your arcing. So from that, I'm going to this. I haven't used this yet. This is just a, hang on, get rid of that glass bowl. It's just a fire extinguisher with a little square bit to take a um, welding lens. And these little, um, they're ceramic. They came off of a old um, welder. They were insulating the coil bolt. And that's where you attach your electrodes out. You need long carbon rods for this one to work. You can see your workstation. The rods will meet right in the middle, just at eye height. And the good thing is the little container it's right up there and can you see my thumb right there is the end of it and that's just above the electrodes so that should collect the majority of the um, stuff and I'll have the purging plug at the bottom here and I'll purge it longer but it does get super hot this will make it a bit easier because it's very hard to have the arc welder Hold on, holding this and trying to stabilize this. And I was outside as well, and the wind kept blowing everything away. So there is actually a bit of carbon left in there. Oh, that's a good way to get the carbon off, actually. Hmm. So this carbon here is the fumes off of the electrodes. That's, um, if you watch the scrapings of the bread electrode for the rain cell, um, it actually does perform quite well. It could have more helium probably and it may, may turn out to be C60 with a helium center. Not to say it doesn't have something else, but yeah, that was my attempt at making fullerenes. I don't have a laser. So yeah, alright. Thanks for watching.